we cannot abandon this track. We, we have to finish the job. We have to finish the job in the Balkans. We are, you know, one third through this process. The most difficult parts of it are still there, but we need to accomplish. I mean, uh, we know that the single most important driving force for reform and peace and reconciliation in the Balkans is the prospect of European accession. There's no other one. I mean, that gives you a, a sense of the historical role that we still have to finish, to perform and finish in, in the Balkans. And the same for Turkey. I support, that happens to be the official line, but sometimes people forget, the accession of Turkey to the European Union. We are in the process of negotiating. We know how much this prospect has uh, influenced change for the better in Turkey. And we know how much we need Turkey as part of our system of values uh, because of its regional uh, relevance and increasingly so more than regional relevance and we need to look at Ukraine and Belarus and we need to look at our uh, eastern flank uh, you know Ukrainians have the same right as I have uh, to live in full democracy and in respect of human rights and freedom they are part of Europe uh, so we are in the process with Turkey a difficult one but Again, historic responsibility. So we cannot stop. We should not stop and will not stop uh, because that's, you know, that's the, you know, that's my duty, our duty, towards those who died for this in the past. I mean, it's as simple as that. Uh, so I think uh, the European Union dream project is not only alive and kicking, and we can get, come back to that when we talk more about economics and other things, as much as it is not a finished job yet. <laughs>